What's up, young man? I know it's been a long time since you heard from school, man. Man, I just wanted to kick it with you, man. I've been doing a little research, but, um, man, I ain't speaking on nothing, man. But, uh, I just want to holler at you and tell me, for you to tell me what you think about this. Matter of fact, this video, people going to have to have a link to look at it now. You can share it. Because I'm going to just kick it with you with some old school knowledge. You know, like in the 70s and the 80s and stuff. Say, man. Let me tell you this. This I'm speaking about Dolph Case. I don't even know him. And I started jamming his music after the fact. But uh, this is what I wanted to share with you. Say, man. Um. The people I came up with, you didn't make it if you got hit with a triple cross. Okay, sometimes you make it out the double cross, but the triple cross is a bad boy, man. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Um, Back in the game, in the game, way back in the game, my mama, when she was living, she used to ask me, Boy, how come you the only one get locked up? And she knew all the people that I'd be affiliated with and everything. But when I'd get downtown, you know, how they used to go by them old codes and shit. Well, I'd just go by the code. And uh, they didn't have stuff that they had today. But let me tell you this, some of them people is still the same. <clears throat> uh, when they went to looking for me, man, they straddle cars and throw down and all of that kind of stuff, man. And it'd be ugly. On my last case, when they were looking for me, I turned myself in, but I'm going to tell you this. Um, I had to turn myself in. See, them, when uh, them people caught my brother and my nephew in the car, and my nephew looked and spit his image of me just on the young side. So they followed the car. When the car hit the boulevard, we called them jump out boys down here. They jumped out on them. One of them got in front of the windshield with in a pump shotgun. They pulled my nephew out of the car and uh, uh, throw them on the ground, throw my brother on the ground. They searched him. He had a big old bag of crack pistol. They gave him all that stuff back and they burned off. So I don't know nothing about this because, you know, I've been on the run for about eight months. So my daddy called me and he said, say, man. I said, yes, sir. He said, them people done jumped out on them boys. And they're going to mess around and hurt your nephew behind you. What you going to do about that? So I said, dad, I'm going to go on and turn myself in. So, man, I go up there on a Sunday. Man, I had hell turning myself in. So then, here go them people, man. This this is my point. Here go them people. They jumped down on me. And so I want to know what they got on me. So, they instead of keeping that light on me and all of that kind of mess, they try to go to sleep. They wake me up and all that kind of mess. So I done just made up my mind, you know. Man, you ain't finna get me to, you know, tell you I done did something and uh, I don't know what you're talking about. So, man, they jump on me and uh, all of that kind of mess, man. They throw me in solitary, you know, um. Uh, 
sail well. It's just like about a two foot by six foot tall. You can't really sit down in it or nothing after they beat me up. So I ask them for some water. They take a bucket, like might have been full of toilet water and just slam it in my face. So then after that, they take me up there talk to the detective so then he trying to you know pick me so I say say man you know explain to me what you got me on explain to me what happened and uh I you know going on do my time so then he knocked me out the chair so man if you ain't laying to go up through all of this here kind of stuff what I'm trying to say to people. Finally, you'll be glad to get in a sale, but it's going to take a long time before you even hit a sale. When these people get on you, man, if you ain't laying to go through all of that there, and if you ain't, your skin ain't tough as leather, Montana, I'm gonna tell you, man, what's gonna happen. These boys' skin ain't tough as leather, man. It's over with. Now, remember, I told you, we're gonna keep it on grassroots level. And you know, because you know and I know we can take it further. So, with that being said, I just had to get that off my chest because they ain't been sending me none of your uh, notifications or nothing. So, man, young man, you uh, be easy. Um, keep doing what you're doing, man, and stay safe. Self-preservation, lion. And, uh, Man, you can do whatever you want to do with this here, but it's a wrap. I'm going to tell you, from what I've seen, just going from here to dip to dab, from here to there, it's a wrap, man. Man, if them people on it could be a diss track, I don't know. But I'm gonna tell you this: the triple cross, it was real, and I don't know. Um, uh, they got a video out there, but when they were bringing that boy to court. I don't know how true it is or what, but you know, I just be looking. Uh, that when he walked in that courtroom and he know them camera was on him, he signaled like he was rubbing his ear, he signaled a F U sign. So if that's what he meant and he was sending a message, it's over with. Right there. Check it out, man. I'm going to download this and send it to you. You do whatever you want to do with it, man. I ain't, you know. Since since my, since my we bro buried my brother in October, man, man, I ain't scared of nothing, man. So, that being said, man, this your boy, and I still rock with you, man. I just, you know. I be behind the scenes looking at a lot of things before I do my evaluation, man. Otherwise, I never would have got to uh, 71, man, because before you get to the, the triple cross, you got to get to the double cross. You got to get through that, man. Usually, you can live through them. Man, that triple cross is a bad boy, man. Somebody got caught up in a triple cross, man. And, uh, Just didn't know. If you don't know much, you can't do much, man. 
But uh, you, you, can, you, you can do whatever you want to do with this video, man, because, you know, uh, I tried to talk on one dude uh, live, matter of fact, and, you know, just give him some knowledge. He come out. I cut you because I heard you was on commenting on, on, on somebody like little little something or something. And I say, man, are you sure? I, uh, you know, I text the dude. And I say, I got on his Instagram. I say, say, man, you sure you talk about me? You know, because, you know, you always holler about how you know you need the paperwork shit. You need to do it on me, man, because, hey, you got me all uh, twisted. You know what I'm saying? So I just look at them. they clowns. You know, and uh, for that them little old month of pieces of change and this and that. You know, man, uh, I'd rather listen to people like you Ain't worried about them clicks and ticks and all of this and lying and going on, man. But I'm going to tell you this, man, without a peep. It's a wrap. And me and you, we on grassroots level on the cool. We know what's up. You know, things could go either way, but the trip across is real. I guarantee you that. Take it from school, man. Triple Cross was real. Later.